Well, good evening and welcome, Solar Size family, to our program tonight. What we're going to be focusing on, as far as movements, I'm going to demonstrate some movements that have been extremely healthy, helpful for people that have back issues. And there's a lot of people out there that do. So we want this to be a program more specific to specific, certain movements that we can all do to improve our, our back health. We've got several questions. I was a little overwhelmed with all the, the customer reviews, so we're gonna save some of them for, for the next time, but we've got some great responses from people. I'd like to read a few of those, and then we'll answer some questions, and then I'm gonna invite my son to come up, and I'm gonna do some back exercises on him. I've taken the balance bar off so that it will be easier for you to see. So Beth writes, I just wanted to say thank you. I started using a rebounder last March. I was 216 pounds, hadn't exercised in 11 years because of ankle and back issues, back surgery and ankle surgery that kept me from being able to exercise without pain. I found your YouTube videos and started doing your 10 minute beginners video every day for two months. And that's all I did to exercise. At the end of two months, I was shocked to discover my ankle and back were rehabbed to the point that I could exercise without any pain or injury. I could dance again, which is something I hadn't done in about 15 years. Today, I am 30 pounds lighter. I'm able to safely exercise two hours a day, cellar size, dance, rowing machine, Pilates. I take dance classes throughout the week and have been in three dance performances in the past year. I signed up for the Bolas Dance Company Summer Dance Intensive and am loving all the opportunities that I now have to move and learn and dance. And it all started with the Solar Sizer videos that you post for free on YouTube. I still do the 10 minute beginner video every day as part of my exercise routine. It has been a life changer for me. Thank you. And thank you, Beth, for sharing that. Brenda writes, oh my goodness. I have been using your cellar sizer for only two weeks now. As of tomorrow, will be two, two weeks. When I started using the cellar sizer, I felt a little sore around the ribs, and I could tell I was using muscles in my back and rib cage that I did not know I had. The benefits of using the cellar sizer for around 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day, almost every day, have already made a difference in my life. First of all, I dropped some inches and can fit into a size smaller pair of pants. And yesterday I was walking through the malls and I noticed that the usual ache in my lower back was gone. I've been living with lower back pain for the past few years. I don't have to be walking very long before the pain is felt and just standing and looking at items on the shelf really affects my lower back. At times my knees would even hurt. And in the past, in the past two days I felt no pain at all. I feel stronger and more centered, if you will, and my balance seems fantastic. This may seem a little crazy, but since I started rebounding, my left ear felt kind of weird inside the eustachian tubes. And I only noticed when I stepped off the cellar sizer and I was wondering what it could be. So today I went to the doctors and he found I have an infected ear. How long I have had it, I could not say, as I never felt any pain nor knew it was there. But after rebounding for 20 minutes or more, I could feel this pressure. So I am now on an antibiotic ear drop meds and the infection should clear up in seven days or less. Had it not been for the rebounder, I might never have known that I had an infection in my ear for that, for they have felt just fine until I stepped on the rebounder and off. I am grateful to have caught it again. No symptoms, no pain was felt. So I'm already noticing great results from your using your cellar sizer. I love to bounce and do my, and so do my clients and my own grown children. One of my clients is expecting her rebounder next week. And as she saw mine and loved jumping on it so much, she went home and ordered one for her family and for herself. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for your DVD and for your creating this awesome cellar sizer. Thank you also for taking the time to write me when I had a question or two and for calling me. I told my friends, family, and clients about the great customer service you get. They were so impressed. 
So I just wanted to let you know how your Cellosizer is changing my life, my muscles, my whole self. P.S. My little cockatiel likes to sit on my shoulder when I do the baby bounce. His cage is set next to where I have the Cellosizer, and when he sees me on it, chirps until I collect him, and he loves it too. There's some good points in there. Brenda, thank you so much for sharing that, and I'm glad that you're experiencing the results. You remind me of a story, and I think I may have shared it with a gentleman who got on the Cellosizer when he was doing the movement to loosen the lower back and help improve digestion, elimination, massage all the internal organs. He noticed a pain in his abdomen. He hadn't noticed it before, but he stopped cellosizing, thinking that that might have caused some problems. A couple weeks later, he was motivated, got back on the cellosizer, started to do the twist. That pain came back with a vengeance, and it wouldn't go away. So he went to the doctors. They did a CAT scan, and they found polyps in his colon, and they were cancerous. So he went, and he had surgery. They removed the polyps successfully. He calls me up just before Christmas to order five cellosizers for every one of his children. He said, the cellosizer exposed and saved his life. Exposed the problem and saved his life. That's one of the things the cellosizer has been known to be helpful for, is exposing weaknesses. It's not jarring. It's not tearing. It's gently causing the entire body to expand and, and contract collectively as a whole. So we have imbalances in the body, we have blockages, we have situ conditions. Generally, we can work right through them. But sometimes the cellulosizer can expose um, something that could have been worse had, it, had we not been involved with the cellulosizer. So again, thank you. Brenda, <clears throat> Holly writes, My cellulosizer experience has been wonderful and a godsend. I always... Have been an, I was an athlete and was a certified personal trainer in my late 20s. I've always taken care of myself and ate well, but everything started to change in my late 30s and things that I've always done stopped working. I started getting cellulite even though I was thin. And in 2008, I started having severe abdominal pain and edema. The doctors could not help me or identify what was causing my symptoms. Though the years, through the years, I would find things that would work a bit temporarily but nothing helped long term. Then I started rebounding, but it hurt, so I could not understand why people said this was good for them. <clears throat> so I started to do my research and I noticed better sleep almost right away. The nighttime health bounce to relax the entire body really works. One night I could not sleep and realized I forgot to bounce before bed. I got up at one oh, 1.30 a.m., bounced for two to three minutes, went back to bed, and the next thing I remember is waking up the next morning. I've had chronic neck and back pain for as long as I can remember it, and would often wake up in the morning with, back, with pain in these areas. After about a week, I noticed I was no longer waking up with any pain. I still get pain some days as the day goes on, but all I have to do is get on the cellulosizer for a few minutes, and once again, the pain is gone. I'm good, and I'm good to go again. I also have irritable bowel syndrome, and bloating and gas can come on when I least expect it. As soon as I feel any discomfort, which can be as bad as a sharp pain through the upper back and shoulder, I get on the cellulosizer for a few minutes, sometimes 10 to 15 minutes if it's really bad, and, and most if not all of the discomfort is gone. I'm hoping over time that my symptoms will lessen and go away altogether. I've had these issues for eight years, so I'm sure it will take some time. During my third week of cellulosizing, I could not believe I was regaining my energy. I had to use stimulants just to try to get through the day, and even then, I would have highs and lows. Each day, I noticed more energy, clarity of mind, focus, and find it easy to remember names and information. I would normally forget right, that I would normally forget right away. I've also noticed that I can concentrate better and articulate my message better during conversations. This is truly amazing, as I've struggled for years with these brain fog type issues. I had my hip pulled out of the socket 19 years ago while giving birth to our second daughter, and I never completely went back, it never completely went back into place. After a few days of doing the pendulum swing bounce, my left hip popped back into place and my right pulled growing 
loosen up and stop hurting. The lower back exercise helps relieve my back pain from my lordosis and mild scoliosis. I am laughing and enjoying life more, all without the need for stimulants. I know I have a long way to go, but seeing improvements here and there can give me hope to someday be pain-free and healthy once again. Thank you for creating the Cellar Sizer, the best rebounder mini trampoline on the market. Because of how the Cellar Sizer has improved my health, life, and my families, I want to tell everyone I work with and tell every household and office has at least one Cellar Sizer. Thank you for letting me be a part of the Cellar Size movement, and I could not think of a better calling other than parenthood, than helping others look and feel their best. God bless. Holly, wow, what a beautiful written review and and thank you for taking that time to share it um, I hope I hope it's spoken to to many of you um, there are issues that most all of us will end up dealing with from time to time in my own personal life I I ripped up my shoulders when I got out of uh, high school and couldn't even throw a baseball yeah I started to do the shoulder movements that I teach and now I can throw a baseball again. And I hadn't been able to do that for years. I had a back injury as well. And I'd have to roll out of bed sideways. And now my back doesn't bother me. And I'm so grateful. And I you know, can touch my toes and much more flexible. And it's all because of what the subtlesizer has done for me. I had knee problems where I tore up my meniscus horizontally and vertically in more than one place. And by doing specific movements on this cellar size, I was able to rebuild and strengthen all those supporting muscles and ligaments. Digestion elimination improved dramatically. There's so many things. Balance will improve dramatically. It, it's, uh, it's got a lot of benefits. So if you have issues, whatever they may be, feel free to write in. I can share what some of the other approaches have been. And um, our objective here is to help you feel better, perform better, and enjoy a better quality of life. So let's Go ahead and read some of the questions. And Brooklyn, if any of them come up, just go ahead and raise your hand. I'll stop and, and answer those questions too. So, McCall writes, how many times can you do the one-minute sprint in a given workout? If I wanted to do five one-minute sprints in one workout routine, would that be too much? If you're in good shape or wanting to get in good shape, that's not too much. We call those high-intensity um, movements. And yes, they're great. Uh, you just you'll have a higher metabolism. You'll strengthen the heart, increase the circulation, um, and yeah, it's it, it's a fantastic program. Your immune system will be functioning at a higher level as well. Belinda, can I do the health baths when I have musculo musculoskeletal C two injury? I I'm not going to touch. No, Belinda, I'm sorry. Um, that's something. You have to consult with your doctor. With that's a very serious injury, and any movement in, in the upper cervical range that that controls all of your body parts and functions from here down. Um, it's a serious injury. I'm sorry if, if you had to deal with that. Um, the, I wouldn't do any baby bouncing. You can ask the doc. I'm going to do one in a few minutes where a person lies down on the sizer where we take the vertical pressure off. But again, that's not something I, I am qualified to, uh, to answer at all. So. Patty says, is it best to do without shoes? Yes, I think so. Shoes are restrictive in their movement. The foot is supposed to be very flexible, but when we wear shoes year after year, and then we try to do something strenuous and the foot doesn't have the flexibility, we can end up causing plantar fasciitis or, or tears or injury in the foot. The cellar sizer is going to challenge the foot. Barefoot socks or a soft soled slipper can be very helpful to add a little additional support but maintaining and improving the flexibility of, of your feet again. Ellen writes, how do you work your neck muscles and release tightness at the back of your neck after using weights? And that's a good move. Great question, and it's done by, can they still see me okay, Brooklyn? By putting the fingers right here along the vertebral joints of the neck. As you're gently moving up and down, you're moving fluid, but you're also causing the tissue to expand and contract. 
taking these fingers and doing little circular movements around those muscles and just gently tilting one direction and the other initially just to help increase that flexibility and circulation can be very helpful for the neck because several things occurring as you're doing that gentle movement up and down on that solar Any way to tighten triceps and biceps for older women? Does rebounding cause face drooping? And of course, if I think we may have answered that question last time. The skin, gravity causes the body when it gets weak to, to droop. When you're bouncing up and down, you're putting weight on muscles and collagen, and those are protein fibers. So they become more resistant to the weight. So when they get weak, they sag. When they get stronger, they firm up. And cellular size helps to firm up rather than, uh, than the opposite. Okay. Oh, triceps and biceps. That simple movement that you've seen me do where you kind of cup your arms and you one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. That will strengthen the arms here and the back of the arms here because you're pushing down and pulling up. It's hard to hurt yourself that way because you're not lifting weights. You're using your own resistance. And as it gets stronger, your resistance gets stronger as well. Do you get the Mr. Rebounder app on Google Play? Yes, you get it on Google Play and the Mr. Rebounder app, which is right here. Um, oh, just touched it. You can get on um, Apple, the Apple Store as well. Cannot cast Facebook to TV. Can you be live on YouTube? We will take that under advisement and consider that. So I have to ask Dalium to, to make a note of that as well. Cherie says, do you need to leave the mat for best results or does the baby bounce work? Well, no, the baby bounce absolutely works. I believe that's the most important physical activity we can do every day of our life because that gentle baby bounce you're not floating, you're moving up and down many times per minute. And that's causing the lymph system, those valves to open and shut many times per minute, which helps to improve the lymphatic circulation, your back flushing valves, your challenging balance to equilibrium. It is all weight bearing, so it's going to help strengthen, tighten, and tone. You can do other movements by creating leverage or altering the angle of your body in different positions, but that health baby bounce is, is the best. Jumping high, that's for trampolines, that's for doing tricks. You're floating, you're not working. And it's fun to float, and it's fun to do tricks, no question. But the solar sizer wasn't designed for that. The solar sizer is designed for health and fitness. Okay. Is it possible to buy the travel case for the trifold separately? Yes. Just call our office. What about piriformis syndrome? Brooklyn, I don't remember that. Uh, your piriform. We'll answer that in just a moment. Gab writes, I have neck arthritis. Can I do cellar size? Yeah, anything we can improve or do to improve circulation can help mitigate arthritic conditions and hopefully um, to a point where it's no longer a problem. But again, gentle movements gentle um, massaging techniques and of course you know feel free please consult with a doctor if you have other issues concerning that. Um, the pier forms an external rotator of the hip so it's how you oh yeah 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 okay what about the piriformis syndrome okay simple movements gentle baby bounce to warm up the tissue this and then the gentle twisting motion right here this gentle twisting motion helps to strengthen and increase flexibility. And when you keep your waist straight ahead, you can actually just work the hip, that, all these muscles in the hip socket area. That's good. I would love to use my cellar sizer, but I haven't figured out how to do it safely with a prolapsed bladder. I think it might eventually help the prolapse, but the in-between time is the scary part. 
what exercises. Thank you, Vicki. Um, I'm gonna sit down a little bit. Can we, do we need to adjust that some? Thanks for coming. That was a way to make it so it follows you. But I don't know how to do that. Okay, so that's this movement right here where we have a little additional support. So we can sit back a little, all these muscles automatically tense up. And then we want to work on the inside. So most exercises just work from the outside in, not from the inside out. But with cellar size, we can help support her back, gently move up and down. And now all these internal organs are moving up and down and very gently those connective tissues can begin to firm up again. So just like this. And again, as we get stronger, we can lift up one leg and now we're working all the surrounding muscles and the lower abdominals, lift up the other leg. Eventually, you build up to it and then you lift up both legs. Bounce a little higher. This is all being done right there in the stomach muscles. Okay. What is the connection between the hip flexors, psoas muscles, and lower back? Well, they're all supporting muscles. This one here, gentle movement, helps to target all of them all at the same time, collectively. So we're helping to loosen the muscles as well as increase flexibility and strength in those muscles. I have pain and tightness in my hip flexors and low back, we've addressed that, plus a weak core. Is there one specific move that will help in all three areas? Or is there a combination of moves that will help alleviate my pain? Okay, so this gentle baby bounce has how we warm up the tissue. This hip rock helps to stretch. So you, you can actually, if you're as you're doing it, don't overstretch, but you can actually, as you're moving that shoulder up, and extending this hip area, you can feel the stretch. So this gentle movement helps to loosen up all those muscles, and then this gentle twist helps to balance all of those muscles collectively. What shoes do you recommend for rebounding? Um, I don't recommend shoes, but I don't know if you notice, I've got, I'm testing these things out right now. They're kind of a sock and they have a rubber, flexible rubber bottom on it. And we may make those available. I've been testing them for a couple months now. They're great because they, they, if you don't want to slide on the unit, they'll grip you a little bit. If you like to slide on the unit, and I, I do like that too. You can wear socks or barefoot um, or some kind of a soft sole slip. But more to come. On, on those because I I really like them. They think great. Dennis writes, <clears throat> I have a cellar size or must get back to regular use. I now have neuropathy in both feet and I'm not diabetic. Do you think the unit will improve my symptoms and circulation in the lower legs? Yes, I think it will improve the symptoms of circulation. Most of the people we've worked with have to do it about 20 minutes if they're dealing with neuropathy. But neuropathy often can be arrested. It doesn't necessarily have to continue to spread or become a problem. Circulation is critical. Cellular size is pumping from the lowest area, the weakest area of circulation in the body, the lowest extremities, back up toward the heart. So those movements have been very helpful to, to many people. Hope writes, any before and after of customers as it relates to weight loss, cellulite gone, firmed and toned, from being saggy and loose. Yes, we have pictures and we've got some really good ones. Um, the star that comes to mind right now is Grace, but there are others too, and you, you can find them under our customer review page. Patricia writes, does cellular sizing help with snoring? We don't have any evidence of that yet. However, that upper palate, as we're resting and it kind of drops, we have had actually people say that their storing did stop when they were cellular sizing and we wonder if it's because it is weight bearing on all the, that, even that palate, if that constant cellular sizing can help lift or strengthen that area. 
we don't have a lot more evidence on that, but if anybody has any experiences, please write and let us know what, what you've experienced. <laughs> Field by plants. She's terrific. My question is, are there any specific studies showing the benefits of rebounding for osteoporosis? If there are, can you link them? We don't have a lot of studies on it other than osteoporosis in general needs um, some kind of a, a weight-bearing exercise. A lot of trainers or doctors will say do weightlifting to build up the bones, but it's not the weightlifting that is needed as much as it is just the weight on the skeletal system. The body responds to that by utilizing more mineral content to strengthen the bones, and that's what promotes what's called osteoblastic activity. So as we're moving up and down on the solid side, you weigh more every time you come down to the bottom of the mouth, but it's not a jarring effect. So we're not damaging joints like we could if we were hitting a hard surface, but we are creating a G-force or weight on the skeletal system. Wondering the exact routine Mr. Hall currently uses, it kind of varies depending on the day, but um, I always start off with the baby bounce, the health bounce, and I'll do that for probably about a minute. And I may do a little bit of rocking side to side. And then uh, it depends. If I'm watching a show, then I'll often put on the Mystery Bounder app. I'll do one of the routines, and I just, I'll just jog, lifting up my knees so you work the core. And, um, and when I'm done with that, I do the ski patrol. That's what I do. Great for the back because I'm lifting the shoulder up and stretching along the back as I'm doing this. And one foot comes in front of the other. I'll do this to the count of about 50. And then I'll do the ski patrol. And I'll do this one, two, three, generally up to about 100. And then I may do some strength training or something different depending. Sometimes if I've been exposed to something, I'll do more of the one minute sprints as our previous customer mentioned, because that's improving the immune, immune system, increasing metabolism. And I think it's just healthy. All right. Catherine, I'm wondering if there's a place in the Mr. Rebounder app that would allow basic muscle work and weights, and then a 30 second break to bounce. I understand that the combo increases muscle building much faster. Thank you, David, for everything you do for us. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Okay, what she's talking about is a study that was done by Dr. Larry Getman, published in the National Aerobics um, Institute out of Washington, where he showed that if you rebounded for 30 seconds in between a weight training program, you could grow in your overall results up to 26% faster, which is substantial. <laughs> so we have a bodybuilder who's on our website, Wade McNutt, Wade Lightheart. Um, he actually was a bodybuilder and he took it to heart and, and did the solar sizing and the weight training and then the, the solar sizing. He was absolutely blown away by how fast the results that he was looking for um, occurred and within weeks he was able to, to perform and win several a number of championships over the course of that year and has been a great proponent of what the solar sizer did for him he's got we've got pictures of him that should be on our website as well you can find him under wade w-a-g-e he's uh he's been an evangelist out there promoting cellar size and promoting water and the internal environment of the body and just a good guy, good friend. Debbie writes, was wondering if the wireless module issue has been fixed for Android. <laughs> Mine was not as of yesterday. Debbie, it absolutely should be now. And if it's not, give us a call because it may be your particular device, but they worked on that and should be finished. So I know how frustrating it is if that app is not working and I sure appreciate when, <laughs> when you call up to say, hey, it's not up or something's down because we can jump on it very quickly. 
Elizabeth writes, I broke my wrist last week and it's in a cast. Do you think that bouncing would help decrease the swelling in my fingers and hand? The doctor told me that my fingers and hand will continue to swell because our body doesn't have a way to getting rid of the fluid in that area. My doctor was encouraging exercise in general. I don't think it, there's anything better personally. I, when I broke my ankle, I held it over the side and I bounced up and down and it healed so quickly the doctors became my customers. I've shared that before, but, but the same thing with their fingers. The movement up and down activates millions of one-way valves in the lymph system, which holds a negative pressure. So as we gently move up and down, those one-way valves start sucking. They start to pull that circulation between the tissue spaces, bones, and joints of the body. Very, very important. And for helping to heal, it can expedite that whole healing process. Sometimes if it's painful and there's swelling there, putting our hand up or helping to hold it up while we're gently bouncing can also help move that fluid and expedite that whole healing process. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, um, are there any other questions, Brooklyn? Okay. Um, can you demonstrate the exercise that the first request was about doing five in a workout? I think they're talking about the sprint or the jump or run. The sprint, or the, yeah, they're both intense. Sprint and jump or run. Okay, the sprint is done by, usually what I do, I'll count for a minute and or have a timer going on for a minute and I'll see how many times my right leg comes down in that minute. Now the objective is to lift the knees high too though, not to just run normal. You're really kind of picking those knees up. And it's, um, it's you go your comfortable speed. As you get stronger, you'll be able to put more intensity behind it, but don't start off going really fast. But, but this is what I do is one, two, three. I go about that speed and I go until I get a full minute and see how many I've actually done. Any other questions? Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have my son come over. We're, the rest of this program is gonna be dedicated to movements that we can do for people that are having back issues. And I need a chair. So, oh, actually, I don't. We'll use a couch, which is perfectly fine. So, justice. This is my. <coughs> come on over. This is my my little boy. Yeah, he's gonna be taller than me pretty soon. He's only fourteen. <laughs> Any solo sizes. Jess, I want you to sit down right here. Yep, perfect. Put your feet up on the chair. And we're going to use that um, just a second towel for his head. Okay, so we'll use this for now. Okay, scoot down. Yep, right down here. And I, I generally recommend a towel because it can help support the neck nicely. You're going to move your arms out to the side a little bit. Yep, a little bit more. That way? Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, so what are we doing here? People that have subluxations, herniated discs, um, or they have a, um, their, their back is knotted up, they, they have back pain for any number of reasons. We want to relieve the stress or tension on the nerves. We want to help loosen up the muscles. I can tell you story after story after story. I've been doing this for now for, created it 25 years ago. <laughs> because somebody at a, I was at a show and I had a booth and somebody had a back problem and I said, why don't you come over? Let me, let me try something with you. From that point on, I had no idea how this was going to be such a life changing experience for so many people. So it's done by lying down, putting the, the feet up so your back is completely flat, no stress on the back, little towel behind the neck, and then the person standing over them can be watching a television program or 
are just enjoying themselves, but they start to gently move up and down. They're pushing down into the mat, which is helping to strengthen their thighs and their knees. They're getting a benefit, and this is gently taking, and it's not a surface massage. This is a deep massage. It's working through the whole body. It's extremely relaxing. It's really comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. It really is comfortable. In fact, in lectures, live presentations, I had, I've had three women and one gentleman fall asleep on me while I was talking to the audience, and I looked down, and they were gone. We do the same thing with babies, and it's very relaxing to a baby, too. So we're doing this for several minutes, and as those muscles start to loosen up, we start to take pressure off the vertebral joints, we're moving circulation, then we start to rock left to right. As I gently rock left to right, the hips gently move. We start to loosen up the muscles all along the vertebral joints, taking more pressure off any nerve, helping the disc move as well, so they can they have a herniated disc that can help to release that pressure on the disc. And we're helping to imbibe the disc or increase circulation to the disc as well. In addition to this gentle movement, we're taking digestion, elimination, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, all these internal organs, and we're gently massaging those as well. So I suggest drinking a lot of water when, uh, when you've done this. So you do that for a few minutes, and then you gently go back to the movement up and down. We have noticed many, many, many times it can offer immediate relief. And some of you have heard me tell the story about Maggie and how she'd been to seven specialists in five years, and none of them were able to help her with her condition. They just kept giving her more and more pain medication. It was destroying her life. And so when I was at a show, I grabbed a doctor who was one of my customers. I, we laid Maggie down and did the same movement, and she... Uh, she had immediate results to the point where tears were just streaming down her cheeks. And she said, why? And the pain was gone. She slept that night for five hours straight, came back the next morning, got the cellar sizer. You can hear her story on the DVD, Cellar Size, the Ultimate Exercise, because she, uh, she got the cellar sizer. She started to do some of the additional movements that I'm going to show you in a moment. And... I saw her a little over a year later, and she looked fantastic. And she was remarried, she had a life again. She got up on stage and she shared her story. That's just one of many people who have benefited from this movement. It's very gentle, and you can go very gentle. So depending on how, how heavy they are, I was going a little hard there, so, but depending on how heavy they are, it will depend on how much you have to push down but that helps build up your thighs and your knees at the same time. All right, so now when you get off, pull your knees toward your chest, roll to the side, mm -hmm. and get up. Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> All right. So that's, yeah, we don't want to put any more stress or tension on the back, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. It's comfy. All right. Um, okay, so next we're going to do the movement that you could do on your own if you don't have someone to help you. And this is also very helpful, is to take the right elbow, Brooklyn, they can see me on right, so okay, take the right elbow, stick it up over your head, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the vertebral joint. So we just gently lean to the left until we can feel the, any stretch or tension. When you do, you don't have to overstretch on this one at all. You just get to that point, you stop, hold the position, and we gently move up and down. As we gently moving up, up and down, we're causing those tissues to gently expand and contract. They're weightless weight, weightless weight. And that can help open up the vertebral joints while we're moving fluid up and down through the tissue as well. Wonderful. Many times in massage therapy, and this is wonderful for massage therapists, they're, they're a little bit more limited. They have to work 
a long time to get to all these different areas of the body, whereas this can be helpful as well. Not to take anything from massage therapists. They're, they're fantastic, and many of them will utilize the cellar sites or with their program to get to those areas of the body that they were not able to reach after they've had a chance to, to work some of the more challenging areas. Okay, then we take the elbow the same way. We lean to the right, and most people, especially if they have a little curvature in the back, they're gonna notice more tension on one side of the body than the other. And so they're gonna work in that part of the body. And that's, that's the, the first movement is always with the gentle baby bounce. Warm up the tissue. And then we, then we do the, these movements. The next movement is to work the lower back. So this is working a lot of the upper back, a little bit of the lower back, but not a lot. So we wanna focus now more on the lower back. You hold on to that balance bar. And we're going to take the right foot and cross it in front of the left foot. So it goes like this. It's just gentle movement, right like that. And if you have any tension in the lower back, this movement can help open up that whole area. Again, all the tissue is gently expanding and contracting. We're loosening up, we're improving circulation. And you generally hold on to that balance bar while you're doing that. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So again, you hold on the bar, lift the elbow up, lean to the left, and you're gonna take that left foot now and cross it in front of the right foot, just like this. And that starts to open up the vertebral joints in the back. Okay, next movement. And again, is these are move, they're graduated movements depending on where you're at and as far as comfortable. But this next one, we call it the hip rock. And it's just, we're rocking side to side, but we take our shoulders and we move them up and down. And by moving those shoulders up and down and we're rocking left to right, you will feel it in that area of the body that has more tension. Now, again, this acts as a pumping action you're pumping the lymphatic system significantly, which is helping to move fluid as well. And the gentle stretch is helping to move circulation through the, the spinal column, spinal fluid movement, lymphatic circulation, and you're working to loosen up the muscles all along the vertebral joints of the back. Okay, when we're done that, then we can work on the overall twist. And that's the movement where we have our feet spread apart a little bit. We're gonna lift our heels up and down and you just do a gentle twist. As we're gently twisting, we're on the mat the whole time. You don't need to jump off the mat and you don't need to torque. <laughs> just do it gentle until you become more flexible. If you want to graduate a little bit more to the upper back, you take your arms, lift them up here, and now you're working the scapula, right in the, the upper back, as well as all the vertebral joints. And this creates balance. If you have shoulder issues, you may even feel some stretching in the shoulders as you're doing that movement. And that's an excellent movement. Okay, now for strengthening the back, as well as opening up the vertebral joints and the hips a little bit more, we do the ski patrol where we hop side, I was doing that a little bit earlier. We're hopping from side to side with the right foot crossing in front of the left foot and vice versa. And so it goes like this. It's just this gentle movement side to side. But again, we're gonna take our shoulders and we lift them up and down. And that gentle movement helps to open up the vertebral joints in the back. Now, don't start off with that. <laughs> you want to build up to make sure that you have some good flexibility in the back before you do it. Okay, now from there, we're going to actually do a stretch movement. And that stretch movement is done by taking your hands, you're going to bend at the knees, and you just grab the solar sizer like this and lean back. And as you lean back, 
you are working and you can feel it right there in the lower back. And just that movement, just, just like that. And then we can target even further, and these movements really work. Um, you grab that frame now, and you lean to the left or lean to the right. You stick your leg out straight, and you lift your, the ball of your foot toward you as you're doing. So, and you can actually have a little bit of a bounce to it as well. But that's done by grabbing here, lean a little bit, and just gently bounce. You should feel that in all along the back of your leg and in the lower back. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And then the, the power stretch, a little different, um, a little more advanced, but that's done by taking your hands and you just bend over the frame. And you, instead of just holding it like that, and again, you can bend your knees if you need to until you get to the point where you can do this. But you just start to gently move up and down like that. I like to get to the point where I'm actually hitting the ground, but that's again, has a little more advanced, but you're still getting the movement up and down. We end by just doing a gentle twist so we can increase that circulation and flexibility in the back again. That concludes the program for back. I hope that many of you will experience it and find that it's um, very beneficial to you. If you know people that have back issues, you might want to share this particular session with them. Thank you very much. Brooklyn, any other questions? Have a great week, and we look forward to seeing you again in a couple weeks.